Hey guys, Meredith here. I'm talking to you about being the lighthouse in someone's storm and why I choose to be that way. I, because the Lord has rescued me from a pit and it is my purpose in life now to help people be rescued from really their sin. And, um, you know, I think a lot of people don't, people that don't want to understand God or don't really have a, um, a grasp on what it means you know, that we were born sinners and God's grace um, saved us. And I just wanted to talk about that because it came up twice this morning and I just thought, okay, Lord, I need to share it. So again, as I said in my reel today, I shared this not from the perspective that I do this all exactly right. It's because I, I for a long time, I really thought that God can't use me. I'm like, I grew up Catholic. God, God couldn't use me to share the word with people. I'm not supposed to or... And, um, but he really kept convicting me, you know, like, no, people need to hear the word. People he need to hear, um, the word of God. And, um, the more I learned it, the more I want to share it and the more I'm going to share it. So, um, you know, I think we live, people are in storms of sin today. Um, the world is full of demonic stuff and, you know, sin is happening everywhere. It's it's accepted. It's who cares. And I'm, again, we're all sinners saved by grace. But it's so much more like um, people are just outward about it um, more than ever. And there's a verse in tip, First Timothy, I think it's or Second Timothy. Um, you know, people will be lovers of themselves and don't mind my child behind me. Um, and it's funny because I was reading Oswald Chambers' Utmost for His Highest. If you have not gotten in the Word, I suggest you get this this um, <laughs> devotional. <laughs> um, but it talks about the nature of degeneration. And there's this quote. It says, The nature of sin is not or immorality and wrongdoing, but the nature of self-realization, which leads us to say, I am my own God. And boy, is that this world we live in. Everyone is... I am my own God. I am my own goddess. I'm a goddess. And it's all about me, 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 me. And, you know, when I ran to Jesus, when I was desperate in my sin, in my addictions, in my self-hate, it's just, I mean, for so long, the enemy he just had this grip on me and I couldn't see, see Jesus. Um, and, you know, I want you to be able to see what Jesus wants, you know, why Jesus died for you on the cross. And, um, I was reading Romans five today <clears throat> and there's a couple passages I want to read. This is from the new living translation, um, verse chapter five, verse 15. But there is a great difference between Adam's sin and God's gracious gift for the sin of this one man, Adam brought death to many. But even greater is God's wonderful grace and his gift of forgiveness to many through this other man, Jesus Christ. And the result of God's gracious gift is very different from the result of that one man's sin. For Adam's sin led to condemnation, but God's free gift leads to our being made right with God, even though we are guilty of many sins. And, um, you know, because it's just so cool to me because, because of one man's sin, we are all sinners, but because of one man's grace and one man dying on the cross, we can be freed. And again, here's the deal. I think I've talked to people that are like, oh, everybody's going to heaven. Everybody's good. You know, and I just don't believe that anymore because I know what being saved by grace has done for me. I know what recognizing Jesus's death on the cross has done for me. What, how his, you know, dying on the cross and, you know, being raised up again gave me the chance to be raised up again after my sin. So not, I'm not personally raised up, but to give me new life. Um, so verse 18, it says, yes, Adam's one sin brings condemnation for everyone, but Christ's one act of righteousness brings a right relationship with God and new life for everyone. Because one person disobeyed God, many became sinners, but because one other person obeyed God, many will be made righteous. So, you get to be made righteous by choosing to receive Christ. And that is my question for you. And that's something I'm always going to be calling you to is, you know, have you received Christ as your Lord and Savior? You know, have you really repented of your sin? And, 
Um, you know, God is not a happy God when we do that. You know, he's a jealous God and he wants us to live the best life we can um, in him. And, and the world has tempted many people to believe that it comes from, you know, everything, all the desires of the flesh. And um, it, it, it just isn't because it comes to an end where it doesn't work. And, you know, having been an addict, um, I know what it is to come to that end where it doesn't work anymore. So I just want to encourage you, you know, try to understand the scriptures for yourselves and understand what it means that Jesus died for our sins because it's just, it's, it's that saving grace. It's, it's the righteousness that you only get in Christ um, when you finally receive the gift of God's love. But you have to receive it. You were created by God, but you have to receive his love. So that's my encouragement for you today. Um, again, I am just doing this as someone who is learning on the journey like you. So um, I suggest you um, subscribe to this and um, make sure you follow me at Mentor Mama Mare on Instagram. And um, I'm really just posting the videos this week because I'm... Um, not be able to go in and have time to edit everything so um you know i hope you get what you need from this and uh i pray that once you get this one makes you want to get closer to god okay have a good one